The Los Angeles Lakers came into the 2021-2022 NBA season as a heavy favorite for the Western Conference Championship and left it before the postseason even began. And as such, everyone is looking for a scapegoat to blame for their failure. Head coach Frank Vogel, two years removed from winning a championship, was the first major team figure to go. Reports of his firing came mere seconds after the season ended. Now, with Frank Vogel gone, those who remain are squabbing over where to assign blame for the Russell Westbrook trade. According to Bleacher Report, the Lakers front office is blaming and putting pressure on LeBron James and Clutch Sports for pushing the deal. It is no secret that LeBron James and Anthony Davis met with Russell Westbrook to discuss the potential fit in playing with each other and all three believed it would work. The idea of Westbrook helping to lessen the playmaker load on LeBron James while also stepping up if and when one of the two set out during games made a lot of sense. Even if LeBron James did push for the move, it's up to the Lakers front office to actually pull the trigger on such a deal and they did so, they also hold some of the blame as well. Westbrook looked nothing like the player he was even two seasons ago and it was among the many reasons the Lakers underperformed. Making matters worse is Westbrook's massive contract which is worth $47 million and taking up a lot of salary cap space limiting the Lakers options to improve the team. Let's also not forget that the Lakers front office also signed off on the deal and traded first round picks and a lot of young key assets to Washington in order to land Russell Westbrook. But what's worse here is the notion that the front office feels the need to blame anyone at all. Ultimately, it and their best players should theoretically have the same goal, win championships for the Lakers. That means getting on the same page and figuring out an effective way to work together, not playing the blame game in an apparent effort to protect their own jobs. If anything, the fact that they're acting against the team's best interest in the name of job security as much as a reason to reconsider their job security and their mismanagement of the roster. If Frank Vogel got fired for coaching the team, why aren't GM Rob Palinka and senior basketball advisor Kurt Rambis being held responsible for building it? They also get part of the blame for the way they constructed this roster. There's no good answer for that, but at this stage, it seems apparent that LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Rob Pelinka, and Kurt Rambis are all going to be back next season. If that is going to be the case, all parties involved here need to find a way to rebuild a productive working relationship that doesn't involve all of this gossip and backstabbing.